Hello everyone and welcome back to another quest guide for Elden Ring Shadow of the Earth Tree where I'm going over every quest in the DLC in order. This is part two of the video. In part one we started by covering the Freya and Sir Anne's back quest, Needle Knight Leda, Horn Scent as well, started both Dryleaf Danes and Fire Knight Queeline quests and started and finished Horn Scent Grandam and Moor's quest lines. So check out the first video if you still need to do any of that. In part 3 we will be covering Theolie and St. Trina, then finishing the Horn Scent and Dryleaf Dane quests and finishing the Needle Knight Leda, Redmain, Freya and Ansbach quests. In this video, part 2, we will finish Fire Knight, Queeline and then start both County Mirror and Sword Hand of Knight Yolan and Egon and the Dragon Communion Priestess quests and finish them off. One final thing to mention, I won't be showing too much of travelling to and from locations in this video. I'll be going over from the closest grace point. A few days ago I uploaded a video called how to reach all locations with these quest guides in mind so you can use that video to reach places you're unsure of how to reach like the Finger Ruins, Cerulean Coast, Church District and Jagged Peaks. The reason I did this is because this video would be twice as long if I spent too much time showing you how to reach different locations and I didn't want to do that. So check out the video if you're stuck on reaching a certain location. So let's take a look at where we are. To start this part of the video then, we are going to track down, first of all, all four Iris of Grace and Oculations needed for the next two quests. First in the storeroom first floor of the Shadow Keep, head left and take the elevator down and take the door on the right. There is another door you can drop down here and you can find the first Iris. The second Iris is located in the Fort of Reprimand and requires you to simply kill the enemy when you drop down into this area here on the left of the fort. The final two require you to reach the church district of Shadow's Keep, and like I mentioned I have a video on how to reach all of these locations, so check that out if you don't know how to get here. In the church district, head inside and you must jump across the roofs and climb up to the roof with a hole in it and drop down. Here you can head through the door and outside to climb the ladder where you can drain the water of the church district. From here drop down and turn right to reach the grace point. And then head forward out of the church and up the stairs and turn left and keep following this to find this giant creature which you must defeat in order to get the iris. Lastly travel back to the grace point in the church and head left past the dead tree and up the small stairs into the room. And in front of you there is a door with a fire mage in front of it but we're going to go right of him that leads to another door and reach a door under some stairs that you can open that will lead to an elevator going down. Simply follow the path to reach the church with the final iris. This area also has an optional boss fight called Scattered Tree Avatar that rewards you with an item you can use against the final boss. Next head back to the entrance of the church and we will finish off the Fire Knight Queeline quest. Again follow the path across the roofs and drop down into the hole in the roof and all the way to the bottom where you will find a door where you can use your prayer room key that we got earlier.
Inside, you will find Quiline and you can speak with him. You have two options here to either give him the Iris of Grace and get rewarded with Knight Quiline Ash Summon, or you can give him the Iris of Oculation and get the Quiline Great Sword. Either way, you can only get one of the rewards, and this concludes the Quiline quest. Let's move on to another quest. You can do either one of the next two quests in any order. I'm going to start with the Egon and Dragon Communion Priestess. First, travel to the Dragon's Pit and finish the dungeon and defeat the Ancient Dragon Man. This will take you to the Dragon Pit Terminus. And from here, you can head out to the hill above the Pit of Dragons to see the message from Igon. Make your way to the foot of the Jagged Peak's Grace Point and head up the hill until you come to two huge drakes fighting it out. To continue the quest, we need to kill both of them. However, you can simply let them fight until one dies and then you can kill the remaining dragon. After the fight, you will hear a noise of laughing. Head towards it to find Egon. Speak with him and exhaust all of his dialogues, and doing so will conclude his mission for now. We simply need to summon him later when we fight Bale. Next, we can head over to the Grand Altar of Dragon Communion and speak with the Dragon Priestess. Now you have two options here. You can talk to her during the day and she offers you to devour the Draconic Essence. And if you accept this, she gives you her blessing. And later, after the you fight Bale, you can return to her to get the Flower Stone Gavel Weapon and Priestess's Heart, which allows you to take Dragon Farm. The second option here is to drink the Draconic Essence as normal, and then after this, go to sleep until night and speak with her again, and you can offer her Theolier's Concoction, which we got in the first video, to which you will send her to sleep. Basically, you just drug her. Rest until morning, twice, and then talk to her multiple times and exhaust her dialogue. After you defeat Bale, you can return to her and she will give you the Dragon Bolt of Florisax incantation, and then you can keep talking to her and you'll receive a summon called the Ancient Dragon Florisax. So it's up to you which of these you prefer. I already have the Flower Stone Gavel and Priestess Heart for my first playthrough, so I gave her Theolia's Concoction, but you can only get one or the other. I should point out, however, I did have issues with this quest. After drinking the Dragon Essence and using the Grace Point to change it to night, she would disappear, and no matter how much I changed the time, she would not return. So instead, I waited for it to turn night in-game in a different location, and then I fast travel back to this location at night. She was still gone, but I waited until night at this Grace Point, and then she finally reappeared, so I could give her the concoction. So just keep in mind that this quest can be a little bit bugged. Next, simply head to the Jagged Peak Summit, and you can fight Bale. Remember to summon Egon during the fight to defeat Bale, and then after he's defeated you can return to Egon's location to get his armor set. Then you can return to the Dragon Priestess to get her reward, whichever one you chose from earlier. I gave her the concoction, so when you get back to her she will have some dialogue for you to go over before you get your incantation and your Ancient Dragon Florisac summon. But once you've collected your rewards, either one, you will then be finished the Egon and Dragon Priestess quest lines. Let's move on to our final quest in the video, we are going over Count Ymir and Joanne's quest lines. First, speak with Count Ymir in the Cathedral of Manus Meter and after the dialogue he requests you to find the finger ruins and ring the bell. I am Emir. Welcome to Manus Meter. Travel to the first finger ruins you get here through the Cerulean coast. 
and you can ring the bell afterwards and you can travel back to the cathedral and speak with Amir. Exhaust the dialogues with Amir and he gives you the location of another finger ruin and you have to ring the bell there. But before this, you can speak with a new NPC who shows up called Jolan, who if you equip the talisman you got from Emir, you can get slightly different dialogue if you want to. But either way, you can exhaust all the dialogue for both NPCs before you leave. Travel to the second finger ruin of Dale by heading through the church district and reaching the shadow keep back gate and using the old mother gesture to reach the hinterland. Again I show you how to get here in my all locations video. Follow the path and ring the bell of the second finger ruin and again you can return to the cathedral after you've done this. Speak with and exhaust all dialogues with Emir and Jolan and keep going back and forth until you're done. Then you can head over to the Point of Grace and reset the area. I've no interest in companionship, but I must admit, Count Emir did seem very pleased. Perhaps an exception is in order. After this, Emir will disappear and you can press a switch to reveal a hidden ladder underneath of the throne. Be careful here not to fall down because I've seen several people online say after falling down the ladder and dying, Emir will respawn back on his throne and there's no way to continue the quest so be super careful on this ladder. At the bottom of the ladder you can get invaded by and defeat Sword Hand of Night Anna and once she's defeated you can ring the final bell to be transported to a boss arena. The next step is to defeat Meter, Mother of Fingers, and she can be a very tough fight. In fact, during this whole replay of the DLC, this has been the only death I've had so far when I got too close to the Mother of Fingers, so be careful with this one. But once she's defeated, you can return to the throne room once again. In the throne room, head over to the throne and interact with it. You'll immediately be invaded by Sword Hand of Night Joan. You can kill her, and as soon as you do, you'll be attacked by Count Ymir, who you must also defeat. After they're both dead, you can reset the area, and on the final part of this quest, you can speak with Joanne one final time and offer her the Iris of Oculation, or Grace, that we collected earlier. Give him the Iris of Oculation to get the Sword of Night needed to complete the Night Armor set. Or you can give him the Iris of Grace and you'll be rewarded with the Spirit Summon Sword Hand of Night Jolan. You can take this to the puppet body of Anna to upgrade it to the Jolan and Anna Spirit Summon which is considered one of the best summons in game. And to get here, you just have to head through the hinterland and to the shaman village and drop down the cliff to find a secret door in Rabbith's Rise. 
and there you will find Thana's body. You can also revert the spirit summon if you want to, just back to the regular one. Once you've done this, this concludes the Joan and Emir questlines. Well, that is the end of part two of this guide. In part three, we will go over the last of the quests for the ending of the DLC, including Theolier and St. Trina and Dryleaf Dane and Hornscent. He has slightly more to go and Needle Knight Leda, Freya, and hands back as well. I really appreciate if you like and comment. It helped YouTube to recommend the video to other people. Also subscribe to see more helpful guys, and I will see you in the next video. Mm -hmm.